right, so we're going to talk about making sure that your guns stay jam free, and this can happen with new Daisy BBs. Now, other than copperheads, these standard Daisy BBs are easy to find, they're very affordable, and they're pretty accurate. Okay, so I have had two jams with brand new BBs, and one was in the Daisy 340, and the other one was in this prize red rider. We don't have good breach access here, a lot of people don't talk about that. And we'll get the 880 out this video. And so we'll talk about how to avoid a nasty BB jam. Okay. So now what I do is, especially because of the Model 12, which I really don't want that jammed. When you get one of these from Walmart for like 6 or $7. Okay, obviously yours will be filled to the top. But if you take the top off, you go ahead and empty all those out. Okay and then spread them out now you're gonna have obviously a little bit more than that but spread them out as best you can get a magnifier don't kind of half bake it and just do it by eye don't try just eyeballing it. get a magnifier to help uh, this one has a light on it so that's cool and then just carefully look around and this helps greatly because average magnifiers you know three to four power and just move it around with your hands and so you understand that this isn't theory here is a bb that was in that container that was brand new and let's see i'm going to zoom in get some light on it all right there we go oh okay i'll just leave it like that okay there we go so half of it's good and half of it's rusty now that's enough to cause a jam uh, you could probably clear it and i have videos for that but you don't want that jam to start with okay so there it is that is the offender it only takes one bad BB out of that whole batch, even 6,000 shots, potentially cost you your gun if you don't know what to do. Okay. Now, okay, so we come back to breach access. So let's talk about the Red Rider for a while. We don't have good breach access. People don't talk about this. This gun has backside jams and the basic BB jam that's as old as time before they re-engineered it some more. Okay, that's always been around. And I have a simple video to clear that. Sometimes it works. So... We want to avoid that though, because I got that with a standard Daisy BB, and I obviously was scared because this is my best BB gun. My single pumps are the only ones that can beat this gun that's really shooting well. So, what did I do? I decided I will only shoot what you see back here Daisy's Elite BB, the Avantis, which I'm currently using in my Daisy 25 and my Grizzly. They are fast, they live up to the reputation if your BB gun is good. They're not miracle workers like a marksman, so I'm not talking about marksmen in this video. And then this I do want to talk more about. So the Umarex BBs, they're both the price roughly the same. This is six or seven bucks for fifteen hundred, and these are great. They've done well on that Red Rider, and every good BB gun that I put them in made them it made them better. So I consider these semi-elite BBs. They're good. So for seven bucks you get fifteen hundred, about a thousand here. So five hundred shots is five hundred shots. That's a whole magazine. So I'd ask you just to do that. And also let's bring the 880 onto the screen here. Now again, breach access. What grade do we give this? We give it an A plus because you cock your bolt back, you run a rod through there, and there is your jam cleared. So A plus on breach access on this, the Boy Scout, the Grizzly, okay? So, but let's talk about this. If you're using standard Daisy BBs, which I would say three pumps, three pumps for a close in hunt, and you get a jam in there because you went with, well, standard Daisy BBs. Then you just miffed and um, screwed up a good hunt. You probably could have got it. But because you suffered a BB jam, well, that hunt went out the window. So with the 880, I definitely would go with the Umrex or the Avante. So make sure I keep Daisy in the loop here. And both those BBs also shoot well out of the 880 on three pumps. So anyway, I just want to bring that to everybody. It is worth getting out all those BBs, emptying this out, and definitely getting in there and getting in there with the magnifier. I think that uh, not doing that is foolish. So please get in there with the magnifier and take a look at that. It just takes a few minutes of your time and prevents a jam. Okay, thank you.